Good day learners, today we're going to talk about multiplication and division of rational algebraic expressions. So this is the part 2 of operation on rational algebraic expression. Rational algebraic expressions are very much similar to fractions. So kung ano yung mga steps na ginagawa natin if we're multiplying or dividing fractions, yun din yung gagawin natin if we are dealing with rational algebraic expressions. So, before proceeding to our main topic, we need to recall first how to multiply and divide fractions. I have an example here for multiplication. 5 over 9 times 3 over 10. Ang gagawin lang natin is we will multiply the numerator, which is 5 and 3, and then multiply the denominator, 9 and 10. So, magiging 5 times 3 over 9 times 10. And then simplify we get 1 over 6. So, ganyan lang kasimple if we are multiplying fractions. So, how about division? So, I have another example here for division. 5 over 6 divided by 15 over 8. If you can still remember, ang unang gagawin is we will identify kung saan dito yung divisor. So, yung divisor is yung uh, fraction after the division sign. So, it is 15 over 8. So, si 15 over 8 yung divisor natin. Ang gagawin kay divisor is we will find the reciprocal of the divisor. So, yung reciprocal ni 15 over 8 is 8 over 15. And then, we will change the division sign into multiplication. So, ibig sabihin, yung dividend, itong 5 over 6, ay multiply natin sa reciprocal ni divisor, which is 8 over 15. So, yun lang. And then, we will simplify. Magiging 5 times 8 over 6 times 15 magiging 4 over 9. So, ganun mag-multiply at mag-divide ng fractions. Now, let's talk about how to multiply rational algebraic expressions. So, these are the steps. We have step 1, factor the numerator and denominator. Step 2, multiply the numerator. Step 3, multiply the denominator. And then step 4, simplify the product. And we have a note here, when cancelling common factors, include the restricted values. So, kung napapansin nyo yung step 2 and 3, yun din yung ginagawa natin sa fractions. We just need to multiply the numerator and then multiply the denominator. Ang pagkaiba na sa rational algebra expressions, meron tayong extra step, which is factor the numerator and denominator. Ginagawa natin ito para mas madali natin masimplify yung expression. But basically, ang process is same lang sa fraction. We just need to multiply the numerator and then multiply the denominator and then simplify now, let's try some examples for multiplication. We have letter A, 3x squared over 4yz times z squared over 6x. So, yung gagawin natin is we will multiply the numerator and then multiply the denominator. So, you have 3x squared times z squared over 4yz times 6x. And then, we will cancel out common factors magiging xz over 8y kasi we cancel out x at saka si z. So, yung x squared at z squared ay magiging x at z. At yung 3 ay magiging 1. At yung 6 ay magiging 2. So, we have 2 times 4 magiging 8. And then, yung sa denominator natin, ang variable na natira is y na lang. So, kaya meron tayong 8y. And then, yung sa taas ay xz na lang yung natira. Kaya yung product natin is xz over 8y. And then, meron tayong restrictions na x should not be equal to 0. At z should not be equal to 0. Because, nag-cancel tayo ng x and z. So, ibig sabihin... We can only cancel out if yung x and z natin is not equal to 0. Kasi if it is equal to 0, bawal yun kasi magiging undefined. So, dapat we will need to include the restriction that x and z should not be equal to 0. Now, let's try example letter b. We have x squared minus 4 all over 2x plus 1 times 6x plus 3 all over x minus 2. So, yung first step is we will factor out the numerator and then factor out the denominator. So, magiging x minus 2 times the quantity of x plus 2, kasi ito yung factors na x squared minus 4, all over 2x plus 1. Times 3 times the quantity of 2x plus 1, kasi ito yung factors ni 6x plus 3, all over x minus 2. And then, proceed to multiplication, which means that we need to multiply the numerator and the denominator. So, magiging x minus 2 times the quantity of x plus 2 times 3 times the quantity of 2x plus 1 all over 2x plus 1 times the quantity of x minus 2. 
And so, we can factor out the common factors which are x minus 2 at saka 2x plus 1. So, yung matitira na lang is 3 times the quantity of x plus 2. Then, we will distribute 3. So, magiging 3x plus 6. And then, include the restrictions x should not be equal to 2 and negative 1 half. Itong 2 at negative 1 half, ito yung mga values that will make the original expressions undefined or indeterminate. That's why we need to include this restrictions. Okay, last example for multiplication. We have letter C. B squared minus 4B plus 4 all over X squared Y squared minus XY squared times XY squared minus Y squared all over B minus 2. So, first step, we need to factor out the numerator and the denominator. So, magiging B minus 2 times the quantity of B minus 2. This is the factors of b squared minus 4b plus 4 and then all over xy squared times the quantity of x minus 1. This is the factor of the denominator x squared y squared minus xy squared times y squared times the quantity of x minus 1. This is the factor of x times I mean xy squared minus y squared all over b minus 2 since we cannot factor out b minus 2 so b minus 2 lang lalagay natin dyan and then proceed to multiplication we get b minus 2 times the quantity of b minus 2 times y squared times x minus 1 all over x y squared times the quantity of x minus 1 times the quantity of b minus 2 and so we can um, cancel out the common factors which are b minus 2 x minus 1 and y squared. So, yung matitira na lang ay si b minus 2 all over x. And then, we need to include the restrictions that x should not be equal to 1 and b should not be equal to 2 and y should not be equal to 0. Now, let's proceed to division of rational algebraic expressions. The quotient of two rational algebraic expression is the product of the dividend and the reciprocal of the divisor. In symbols, a over b divided by c over d is equal to a over b times d over c is equal to a d over b c where b, c, and d is not equal to 0. So, bakit merong restriction na b, c, and d is not equal to 0? Kasi, si b and d are denominators. So, ibig sabihin, bawal sila maging 0. And then, si c, if si c ay equal to 0, yung divisor natin ay magiging 0, which is bawal. So, dapat si B, C, and D should not be equal to 0. These are the steps in dividing rational algebraic expressions. We have step 1, identify the divisor. It is the expression after the division sign. Step 2, find the restricted values. Step 3, flip or get the reciprocal of the divisor. Step 4, change the division sign into multiplication, and then step 5, multiply and simplify. And then we have a note here, equate the numerator and denominator of the divisor and the denominator of the dividend to 0 to get the restricted values. So ito yung gagawin natin para makuha natin yung mga restricted values. Para mas lalo nating maintindihan, let's try some examples. Letter A, 7AB over 8CD divided by 21B squared over 4D. Let's identify the divisor. So, in this case, the divisor is 21b squared over 4d. And then, let's find the restricted values. So, we will equate 21b squared, 4d, and 8cd to 0. In this case, nilagyan ko, lang, nilagyan ko na ng not equal sign para diretso na. Para hindi kayo malito. So, si 21b squared should not be equal to 0 dapat. Pati si 4d at si 8cd. Then we need to find the values of B, D, and C. So in this case, sa 21B squared, uh, B should not be equal to 0. Sa 4D naman, si D should not be equal to 0. And then sa 8CD, si C at, at saka si D should not be equal to 0. So, let's move on to the next step, which is to... Uh, find the reciprocal of the divisor. So, the reciprocal of the divisor is 4D over 21B squared. And then, let's change the division sign into multiplication. So, magiging 7AB over 8CD times 4D over 21B squared. And then, 
we will multiply and then simplify. So, magiging 7AB, 4D, all over 8CD, 21B squared. And then, let's simplify, cancel out common terms. Ang matitira na lang is A over 6BC. And then, let's include the uh, restrictions. B, C, and D should not be equal to 0. So, this is our restricted values. B, C, and D should not be equal to 0. Okay, example letter B. x squared minus 16 all over x minus 2 divided by x plus 4 all over 2x minus 4. So first step, let's identify the divisor. So in this case, the divisor is x plus 4 over all over 2x minus 4. And then let's find the restricted values. We need to equate the uh, denominator of the dividend and the numerator and denominator of the uh, divisor to 0. So we have x minus 2 should not be equal to 0, and x plus 2 should not be equal to 0, and 2x minus 4 should not be equal to 0. And then let's solve for x. So it's x minus 2, we have x should not be equal to 2. So x plus 4, we have x should not be equal to negative 4. And then sa 2x minus 4, we have x should not be equal to 2. So ito yung mga restri restricted values natin. x should not be equal to 2 and negative 4. And so we need to proceed to step 3, which is we need to find the... Uh, reciprocal of the divisor. So, yung reciprocal na x plus 4 over 2x minus 4 is 2x minus 4 all over x plus 4. And then, we need to change the division sign into multiplication. So, magiging x squared minus 6 all over x minus 2 times 2x minus 4 all over x plus 4. And then, proceed to multiplication and then simplify. So, we have x minus 4 times the quantity of x plus 4 times 2 times the quantity of x minus 2 all over x minus 2 times x times the quantity of x plus 4. And then we will cancel out the common factors. So the common factors are x minus 2 and x plus 4. So yung matitira na lang is si 2 times the quantity of x minus 4. And then we can distribute 2 to x minus 4. So magiging 2x minus 8. And then include the restricted values, which is x should not be equal to negative 4 and Two. So, this is our final answer. Okay, last example for our division. We have letter C. x squared plus 6x plus 9 all over x squared minus 3x plus 2 divided by x plus 3 all over x minus 1. So, let's identify the divisor. So, in this case, the divisor is x plus 3 over x minus 1. And then, step 2, find the restricted values. So, we need to equate the uh, denominator of the dividend. So, yung denominator denominator ni dividend is x squared minus 3x plus 2. Dapat not equal to 0 siya. That's why we have x squared minus 3x plus 2 not equal to 0. And then, we also need to equate x plus 3 at saka si x minus 1 to 0. So, dapat si x plus 3 should not be equal to 0 at si x minus 1 should not be equal to 0. And then, solve for x. So, sa x squared minus 3x plus 2, magiging x minus 2 times the quantity of x minus 1 is not equal to 0, so x should not be equal to 2 and 1. And then sa x plus 3 naman, magiging x should not be equal to negative 3. And then sa x minus 1 naman, magiging x should not be equal to 1. So ito yung mga restricted values natin. x should not be equal to 2, 1. At saka x should not be equal to negative 3. And then let's proceed to step 3, which is to find the reciprocal of the divisor. So yung reciprocal of the divisor is x minus 1 all over x plus 3 and then we will change the division sign into multiplication that's why we get x squared plus 6x plus 9 all over x squared minus 3x plus 2 times the quantity of x minus 1 all over x plus 3 and then we will proceed to multiplication so in multiplication the step 1 is to factor out the numerator and denominator so we need to factor out x squared plus 6x plus 9 all over x squared minus 3x plus 2 so magiging x plus 3 times the quantity of x plus 3 all over x minus 2 times the quantity of x minus 1. And then, si x minus 1 all over x plus, all over x plus 3 ay hindi na pwedeng ma-factor. So, kanya na siya. And then, we'll multiply the 2. So, magiging x plus 3 times the quantity of x plus 3 times the quantity of x minus 1 all over x minus 2 times the quantity of x minus 1 times the quantity of x plus 3. And then, we can cancel out the common factors which are x plus 3 at saka si x minus 1. Yung matitira na lang ay si x plus 3 all over x minus 2. And then, let's include 
the restricted values which is x should not be equal to negative 3, 1, and 2. And so this is our final answer. x plus 3 all over x minus 2 where x is not equal to 3, 1, and 2. Now it's your turn. Try to answer the following questions. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Nino.